That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Hello everybody, and well, reward unlocked, anyway, and welcome back to Uncharted. Today we are starting Uncharted 2, uh, uh, Thieves Among Us, mm, I think, I don't know, it's something about thieves anyway, fuck, <laughs> beat it like four times, no fucking idea what the name of it is. Is it Thieves Among Us? I hope so, anyway, uh, so yeah, it starts out, uh, a little bit slower than the first one. I mean, the first one started with a gunfight. Which, you know, it started with the combat mechanics, right? This one here is starting with the more exploration mechanics. Now, you might think it's like, oh, well, I mean, if it starts with exploration over combat, that means there must be a lot more exploration than there is combat, right? Well, not really. No. I mean, <laughs> there's still a significant amount of combat. So, like I said at the end of the first one... Uh, I have decided to play this on easy instead of normal. Uh, you might think that I'm bitching out, but I mean, you'll you'll see. I mean, you'll you'll see. Even on easy, I feel like this game isn't going to be all that easy. Uh, they do also have an explorer mode, but I don't know what that is. Uh, right, gotta get used to Uncharted over Assassin's Creed again. Played a lot of Assassin's Creed after uh, the last video I did, so I mean, the fact that I actually have to hit X to. Uh, Climb up on the things instead of uh, just holding up. Oh, come on, dude. I know you can do it. There we go. Uh, it's fucking with me a little bit, but I imagine I'll get over it. Haven't played any un. Okay. Haven't played any Uncharted since the end of the first uh, game. Or since the last video that I did in Uncharted. There we go. Um, oh, shit. Because, uh, like I said, I didn't want to start 3 because I wanted, you know, anyone's opinion on whether or not I should play number 3 blind since, you know, it'll be the only one that I have zero knowledge of. Because, uh, you know, obviously I perfected 1 and 2 before ever doing videos in them. Uh, and I've seen 4 played through completely a couple times. Granted, you know, I... I uh, wouldn't say that the people I watch play through it were, you know, the best gamers ever, but I mean, I would still know more or less. And granted, I wouldn't know any of the puzzles or anything either, because, you know, watching somebody play through the game, you don't really memorize whatever puzzles they did. But still, uh, I don't, as of this recording, uh, which is not quite a week after I put out that video, still no comments on it. Uh, which isn't too much of a surprise. Don't get very many comments. Uh, feel like it's because I don't play a lot of new games. But you know what? Don't have the money for it. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of money soon. Because I sold one of my older games for like 60 bucks. So I might be able to get a new game to play. But we'll see. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. 
Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right, so that's going to happen a lot, by the way. <clears throat> the flashbacks, the first like half of this game is a flashback. It doesn't, I will say, we only got like a couple more where we've come back to here. <clears throat> I think we have like one more where we go back and it's a mission, then we end up back here. And then I think after that, it flashes back and just goes until we reach this point in the story and find out what the fuck happened with the train. Um, hang on a second, apparently I got a text message, that's fine, I don't need an exclusive offer from you. Um, so yeah. I don't really much care for the way they did I feel like they could have done it either way. But, uh, anyway, that was Chloe Fraser. you may recognize her, she is in the newest Uncharted that they released, the Uncharted, the Lost Legacy. Uh, cause it is her and Nadine from 4. I don't know if Nadine is in 3 or not, cause you never play it. Uh, but I mean, Nadine is definitely in 4, so it's those two in The Lost Legacy. Girl power. But, uh, as you can tell there, uh, Na not Nadine, fuck. Chloe knows her shit. Uh, she's like Nathan as far as I know. She's like a decent treasure hunter, knows enough stuff. Uh, also, I like how they give you two guns there, just in case, like, you get the first gun and then waste all the bullets. They put another one right next to here. Uh, just in case. So I don't know what happens if you waste all your bullets, you know, for whatever reason. And don't shoot that lock. Uh, but still. There's also this point here, right? Where there's this guy here, right? There we go. Now, if he spots you, which he did on one of the difficulties I played, I don't remember... But if he spots you, he can actually run far enough forward that that explosion doesn't kill him. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, what can you do, right? Uh, so the other guy, obviously Nathan knew from before. It seems to happen a lot. Like he seems to know a lot of people. 
That was a nice beat he was on. So you have to assume, right, that sometimes what Nathan does goes right. Like, I mean, in number one, you know, he was already established as a treasure hunter. So, I mean, there was that. So he had to have already been doing something. Um, and then, obviously, a lot of shit went wrong in number one. But, I mean, hey, what can you do? Uh, and then this one here again. So, like, you know, he does make a living somehow doing this. So you have to assume that, you know, he does succeed at times. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, no. This train crashed really weird, by the way. Uh, you'll see when we get to the point because, you know, we're on this train for, like, two chapters before it crashes. Um, and a lot of shit happens on it. But, uh, yeah. And flashback time. So, yeah, like, you have to assume that he makes money off of it. But even, like, at the beginning of number four, it seems like he did all right. But, I mean, he's got, like, a normal job at the start of number four. So he obviously doesn't make very much money doing this. Hello. Uh, well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And miss the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. So yeah, they uh, knew each other beforehand. Apparently they went out. And Nate, you know, dumped her for what reason? I have no fucking clue. Uh, whether or not that was before or after the events of Uncharted One, couldn't tell you. Uh, there might, I think they might have wrote books or something. Like I imagine that there's like some extended universe shit that goes outside of the games and explains in between, um, the, or explains like stuff that's happened in between and that. Now you might be wondering. Uh, what about Elena? You know, it looked like they were gonna hook up at the end of the first one. It's like, well. You'll find out about that later. Because um, she is still in this game. I imagine she's in all of them. I mean, I know she's in one. I know she's in this one. I know she's in four. Uh, well, she probably isn't in the Lost Legacy. But I mean, I've only seen a very small portion of that one played. Uh, but yeah, you'll find out about her later. She shows up. A uh, lot of shit goes down in this. You get involved in stuff that you really shouldn't be getting involved in in this game. <laughs> Like, a ridiculous amount of stuff that you shouldn't be involved in. Like, civil... Well, I guess it's not really... A, yeah, I think it's a civil war or something. Which, by the looks of The Lost Legacy, that there's something like that going on, too. Like, another civil war or some shit that you get caught up in. Ugh. But yeah, like I said, I already perfected this one. I could turn on tweaks, too, at any point. If, uh, even on easy, it starts to get too difficult, I could turn on some tweaks. Uh, like infinite ammo or some shit, but I won't. I probably won't end up doing that since I'm playing on easy. Uh, but I mean, the option is there if it comes to pass that I need them and become that bad at uncharted. I'm sure, you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards, and we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax, relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. 
Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Uh. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Sure you know where you're so going. just like the first one, by the way, that was the entire first chapter. There was one guy that you don't even have to fight. Don't you love the way the water um, jeans or so just like the first game, there is going to be a significant amount of cutscenes. Uh, once again, with the speedrun achievement, I think it was like three and a half hours, maybe, maybe like the good old days, to uh, beat this game. Yeah. Uh, with Remember all the cutscenes, though, probably going to take us five or six parts. I think the the first game I think took us what five parts. Uh, so I think this one here will probably take us seven, I would have to say. I'm going to give it like an extra two hours. There, it's not that oh, there's wait. that many more cutscenes. Right. It's just that it is a harder game. Somewhere. So I will have to... And their fights are hey, significantly bigger. Now this one here does that? have we'll a lot right more stealth involved, as in it actually put yeah. in stealth mechanics. We're in. Like the first one's yeah. only stealth in mechanic like Flynn, right? was what? you could run up behind like somebody Flynn. and get it. do a takedown. Just give me a boost. Uh, this one here actually has stealth, which we are about to learn about. This whole mission, it, chapter two here, is here comes. all stealth Thanks. the entire way. So there is that. Uh, now this one here, oh, fuck, did not mean to do that. Uh, now this one here, I didn't use, Almost there. You like, ready? Got to any glory. real speedrun strategies for it, like glitches go. and whatnot. Uh couldn't figure out how to do most of them. I did try a couple and get some to work, but I got nothing to like really work for me. Uh, like for example, there's one where you can do some kind of weird air walk from like the fourth or fifth chapter, I think, fourth I think, uh, chapter and you make it all the way to like, oh I don't know, like a fucking long ways into it yeah. anyway and there was also another one that i saw the guy hadn't quite figured it out yet it you. where you can go from the second time where you wake up like where you wake up in the train after the explosion uh you can make it so that you don't activate right. that one cut this scene the there where the you pick up the dagger and get kicked over to this one well or get kicked into this, this cut scene not if you want to keep your uh, and you can make it past that part all right uh, but he couldn't up, figure out a way to see if you can find it then. Like make it past there. Uh, so I mean, it didn't work. Obviously, that would be a huge boost because it would skip all the flashback, which, like I said, is like half the game. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, he never <laughs> managed to make it work, and nobody else ever figured out a way to do it. Um, <clears throat> So, you know, even when I did play it on Brutal, like, I admitted that when I did the first one on Brutal, that, uh, you know, I used a bunch of speedrun strategies to get through it. This one here, not so much. I think in the end, I ended up using, like, one 
glitch thing to make it past the section and it wasn't even worth it in the end. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. All right. I'm here. Uh, so like I said, since the last time, or since, yeah, the last time that we I played Uncharted here, uh, haven't played any Uncharted, haven't played the uh, third one at all yet. Good job I came for uh, We'll probably start that soon, I but it depends. My nose, my friend. Oh, wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Ah, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, there's kind of two reasons why I prefer to like play it before uh, doing the video. And it, one, obviously, it does speed up the videos a lot, like a significant amount, knowing where to go. Uh, like that there, you're supposed to follow the wires yeah. to it, and it's like, nah, I just know where it is. Not that it's all that hidden anyway, but I mean, still. Uh, and then also the collectible treasures. Because, uh, I mean, it takes a long time to find them all. Because there's like a hundred and some. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, I think there's like a... Oh, hang on, I can check that actually. Bonuses, treasures. 98 of 100. I mean, I have all of them. I don't know why it says that I don't. But anyway, there's actually 101. Because there's 100 tre treasures and then a strange relic. And it takes a long time to seek those out. Uh, which is why like, I usually have a guide up when I do it. And then it's like, oh, when you hit there's this point, tower. it's like, all right. And then yeah. I wait until I hit that point. And then roof, and we can't get like, to the all right, now do here. this. It's like, okay, there We're it gonna is. Because the uh, I do like using guides for games that have collectibles. But well, I prefer to find ones that are like spoiler free like the ones for uncharted if you go onto the ign walkthrough for the game they uh press and then hold y or hold hold y uh they have it where oh, come on yeah the cover takedowns are nice but they are very to touchy um, the gate over here. but yeah if you go onto it. it for ign they have it marked where it's like you can just scroll down and uh Whenever there's a treasure, there's like a big box. And it's like, oh, here it is. But you don't have to read anything around it. Get your ideas do, do, the do, 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 do. And then, ha ha. I've got the other one. Uh, so they took out the brutal takedowns in this one. They're not there. It's just mash square. That's, that's the entirety of the combat or the melee combat in this one, which I'm fine with. Uh, obviously, the only reason to do. Oh god, melee combat in the first one was, uh, fuck me. Uh, if somebody happened to get too close to you, uh, which, you know, hopefully it wouldn't happen. Uh, or if you really needed ammo, then you could do the Brutal Calm bow and you get more ammo. In this one here, uh, you gain ammo by, uh, doing stealth takedowns like that. Uh, every time you do a stealth takedown, you do get... A little bit extra ammo I don't know like how much extra God, I hope this is the right guy I'm supposed to be taking down oh my fucking annihilated him oh shit that wasn't the guy I was supposed that was supposed to be the guy Flynn took down also I like how he ran like past the guy and then took him down so this guy here was the one I was supposed to take out and then Flynn was gonna like you know sneak up behind the other guy and take him out but I mean <laughs> whatever works man whatever works Should be able to lift this up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. Hey, you want to get this one? Wait here. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know why they fucking why it says I don't have all of the treasures. I mean, obviously, I do, I have the trophy for collecting all of them. Uh, but yeah, all the treasures do is after you collect so many, it unlocks different tweaks. Okay. It's off. For you to use, uh, and I think costumes, some of them. But I'm not 100% on that. Right. I think so, though. One, two, three. 
So this game here, right, has a bunch of ones like this too. Like it has like the normal cutscenes, like the first one. But then it also has ones like this that are like in game okay, okay. where it's not like an actual cutscene. Uh, which, you know, is fine in normal Easy. playthrough. It means that, you know, it, it just transitions a lot smoother usually. There's no cuts. Um, one shitty thing about it though is, and it only applies to this game, uh, because it really fucks you hard for the speed runs. Like there are so many of them that uh, you can get really screwed in a speed run because like a lot of the time you just like won't have control over your character. Like, um, for example, like the level specific ones in this game, it took me quite a few tries because like the one I had control over them for about like whatever my time was at the end, I had control over them for about half of it. I think like the one speedrun was for like seven and a half minutes you were supposed to do it in. And I think after I finished it, I had had control over him for like maybe four minutes. So like, and I think I barely did it. I did in like 720 or something like that. So I mean like having done it in 720, the goal was to do it in less than 730 and losing three minutes of you controlling the person to like cutscenes in that is fucking horrible. Like whenever I would lose control of them and the timer on the screen wouldn't go away because you know, it's still counting down. I was like shitting my pants, especially like it was bad in those, but it's like, oh, if I fuck this up, it's seven and a half minutes, right? Like what's the worst that can happen? I just wasted seven and a half minutes. When I was doing like the full game speed run though, like three and a half hours. Now what? I could have wasted. It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? I know how to shoot a gun, genius. So this here is introducing another new mechanic in this game, which is range. So when you aim at someone, uh, if the cursor is uh, gray, like if we aim at this guy here, right, the cursor is gray, that means that it knows that you're aiming at him, but your gun won't reach that far. Uh, and it knows it. So obviously it doesn't let you shoot them. So if you can find a point on them, though, that's closer, uh, it will let you. Uh, but it also doesn't come into play as often as you would think. Because, like, the majority of guns in this game, you know, the enemy, there are very few enemies in this game that will stay at range. They, most of them will always try and move closer and closer, right? Uh, so overall, it doesn't, like, the fact that they added a range mechanic into here doesn't make too much of a difference. There aren't even very many levels where, like, your range will make a difference. Because, like, the map that you're fighting in, or, like, the area that you're fighting in, is too small for the range to make a difference. Uh, like, the gun will be able to clear the entire courtyard or something, right? Uh, so it doesn't come into play too, too much. But it is a neat mechanic, you know, guns have a range. I mean, to be fair, bullets have ranges, but the thing about bullets is, uh, I mean, they have their range, but they also have like lethal range, but they'll continue traveling past that point, right? Where it's like, if you're far enough away when somebody shoots you, the boot, the, the, boot, the bullet will obviously lose momentum from like, uh, wind resistance and whatnot, right? And it won't, you know, it'll still hit you and then depending on exactly how far away, what kind of bullet it was, like the, the shape of the bullet, the uh, uh, amount of powder used to discharge it, shit like that. Uh, obviously that'll determine how much it will affect you. All right, oh there's the top. God, it's really windy it's here too, close. by the way. So if you can hear that Appreciate blowing that past update, the window, Captain I'm sorry, Office. but I can't control nature. Um, 
But yeah, like I know most games will have it where it's just like there's no real range. It's just, uh, you know, if you're pointed at them, then you shoot them. Like Call of Duty does that. Halo does that. I don't think any of them have like bullet drop or anything. Battlefield, I think, has bullet drop, but I think it's also only for its snipers. And I don't know about like the range on the other, uh, unlike the other guns, on like the assault rifles and shit. But most games don't bother with it. And it's like, oh, you're aiming there and your character adjusted for you. No more donuts for you. Yeah, no more donuts for you. That's a joke because, you know, the fat Drake is Donut Drake. Um, don't, this part's fucking funny. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I understand why they wouldn't put it in very many games. Uh, really, the only ones that put it in... Oh, my God, camera. Are the ones that are trying to tote that they have, like, realistic guns and shit like that. Like Battlefield, right? It tries to be realistic. I mean, it has destructible environments and everything. You know, when a rocket hits something or a helicopter crashes into something, uh, you know, it affects the building, which makes sense. Whereas at the same time, right? There's a guy above you. Does it really make a difference? There's a guy above me. There's a guy above me. There's a guy below you. There's a guy below you. Ha! That's, I, I love that. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can do with or without it, all honesty. Because in most yeah, games, even if they do put in bullet else. drop, Let's it's either moving. only on the snipers or it really only affects the snipers. Because, I mean, you can have it on all guns, but most of the time, the only thing... Oh, look at that. 30 stuns with the tranquilizer gun. Because I've played this level enough that I've shot 30 people with it. This is also the only level where you get the tranquilizer gun. Um, now, obviously, you can use tweaks because uh, you have a weapon select tweak. That you can do. I guess it's not really a tweak. But you can do weapon select and uh, just give yourself the tranquilizer gun to do it later in the game if you want. Shit. But we can't yeah. get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Uh, there's also a pistol that you get later on. Uh, but you get it during an exploration section, and there's like one enemy that you don't even kill. Like, the entire time before you come to, like, a real combat thing. And I don't think you lose the pistol at that point. But, I mean, you don't get any more ammo and it doesn't show up after that point. So, I mean, okay. if you don't have it... We're clear. So, I mean, you can get, like, a few kills with it when you first reach, like, real enemies. But even then, it's just based on how much ammo Ladies you first. have yet. Uh, cute. We go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> Yeah, we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Khan. Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo 
we carried from Shambhala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. Want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? What a surprise, we've been betrayed. What are the odds of that? So uh, you can die in this part as it turns out. I didn't think it was possible. You also only have one, ow, fuck. Uh, one tranquilizer left, cause uh, you had infinite before cause Flynn was keeping you stocked on them. Uh, you only have one now because obviously he's not with you. Uh, didn't realize you could die at that part until playing it on, uh, I think when I did my crushing playthrough. I died on that part. Because on hard, I dodged just in case. And I'm like, well, I mean, I dodged all that, but nobody shot me, so maybe you just can't. So, like, when I did it on crushing, I wasn't dodging around. I just kind of, like, made the run for it. And I, he just shot me. It was, I think, the very first guys there uh, when I go through the one big gate. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was one of them that shot me. And I was like, oh, shit, because I didn't realize that they would actually shoot you. Oh, time for it even longer cutscene than the rest of them. I don't know, I don't, it depends on how long this cutscene is. I don't know if we'll actually get to start the next chapter, or if this will be more or less You overlooked one moment. little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> <laughs> hey, 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 jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. 
It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah, I think we have time for this. All around the perimeter of the camp. <sighs> just this part won't take too long. We do end. The first uh, one should be right ahead of you. Oh, this chapter does kind of end in a weird place, but still. Uh, so this game has. Here it oh, is. Yeah. I also left the desk has for you. Very. There we are. Oh. All right. Decent First one self set. mechanics, Don't I will say. Touch the button. This one? Um, <laughs> I don't know. So, we're going to find out yeah, here Once in a minute. Set. So, I'm going to try and stealth where I can, but most of the time in this game it goes wrong. And we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then in some areas it goes really. It, it's impossible in some areas. I'll say that. There are literally areas where it's completely 100%. Impossible, you can't do it because the so game's I'm programmed to not let you, right? So this area coming up, you can. So in the areas that you can do it, um, what happens is there are enemies around, and if you manage to stealth kill them all, that's it, it's done, it's over, whatever, right? Uh, and if you don't manage it, see, like right here, I already fucked up, I think, because, oh, maybe not. Uh, and then if you don't manage it, it actually spawns more enemies. So like if I, uh, so like if you manage to take down everyone that you can see, then that'll be it. Whereas if you don't, then they will spawn even more enemies to fuck with you and to kill you. So now those two guys, very easy as you can tell, especially after you know that their patrol routes take them exactly where they do. Uh, now this part here, I've had mixed results with this part. Uh, I've had I've managed to do it completely 100% stealth once, I think, the entire time. But as you can tell, there's this guy patrolling here, then there's that guy here, and then there's another guy behind this tree that I can't... He's over there anyway. And that's the guy that'll fuck you. I've never managed to stealth kill him, but if he's the last guy, it seems... Uh, or, like, if there's one guy left, you seem to be able to shoot him without raising the alarm, right? Um, so, like I said, there are some areas where it's completely doable, like this one. It is doable to kill this guy there that you can see, that guy up there, and then just shoot this last guy and it's done. Uh, the next area, though, and the areas past this, not at all. Uh, now, shit like that happens sometimes, too. No idea. Uh, no idea how that guy saw me or anything. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, like, so, like, this guy here and this guy here uh, would not be here if I had managed to stealth it. Those two guys just don't spawn. What the fuck's reload on this? No, uh, R1, okay. Uh, those last two guys there wouldn't have spawned at all if I had managed to stealth it. I don't know how that guy saw me 
but that happens occasionally but i don't blame the game for that i'm guessing i was just sticking out a little bit more than i should have been uh but yeah this one i did manage to do it in all my playthroughs all four of them i think i managed it once obviously i didn't really try to do it in my speedrun playthrough because it's faster because you can play it on easy so it's just faster to shoot them all and get past it um but when we hit the camp coming up i will show you just how impossible some of these things are now you might think it's like oh it's probably not impossible you just probably couldn't figure out how to do it right no i mean i'm not gonna say that i'm the best gamer ever at stealth sections but i mean i do really good at stealth like i'm really good at stealth and uh you know even if i wasn't you would think in four playthroughs that i would have some indication of how to do it never got that indication uh there we go uh never once managed to do the section obviously this section here you can't because i do believe even if you take out those guys stealthily these guys still show up and are staring directly at where you come up uh so it's not meant to be done stealthily uh what did this guy have he have a yeah an ak uh so just like in the first one the higher the difficulty the less bullets you get so like i'm getting like quite a few bullets here like a decent amount a good amount not an insane amount but a decent amount and uh when i was playing on brutal i was getting like two like same as the first one when you play on the higher difficulties the first time you pick up a gun you'll get a bunch and then otherwise not okay so this area here right so that guy there obviously first takedown whatever the enemies don't seem to dick around with bodies like they won't see a body and be like oh shit at least not that i can remember so the next obvious one is this one like it has to be that guy right but now after you take out him that guy there right like this guy right here he will show up there and he will sit there and i sat there one day while i was doing it and waited he never moved so i'm like okay well maybe it's because this guy here goes and talks to him and then they split up again no that guy that I took out at, with the corner takedown, he will stand at that corner forever. I sat there and watched him. He never moved. He never went back. Nothing. Uh, so this is why I say that there's some points where it's just impossible. Because there's no other way around. Like, you can't get around behind that guy. Uh, there's no way to do it. And obviously, as soon as you step out, he's going to see you. Uh, as soon as you go forward or do something he doesn't like. So, like, you can, like, go up here and see, look, he's already seen me. Uh, like, you can climb up on the roof, but I don't know really what the point of that, oh, fuck, what the point of that is. Um, but, yeah, and then there's sections like that all over the game where it's like, oh, look at this. You can stealth kill, but then you get, like, two stealth kills. And then people just, like, end up exactly where you need to go or exactly where it'll fuck you the most, right? Like, they'll just prevent you from actually doing the rest of it stealthy. And there's just nothing you can do about it. Now, I never... I never looked up anything about doing this game stealthily, so, like, I don't know if there's a video out there somewhere of somebody doing it stealthily. But, like I said, I sat there and watched those guys for, like, a solid, like, 10 minutes, I would say. Uh, the one day, because I was like, man... There's got to be a way to do it, right? Like, they wouldn't activate... Oh, I think he was about to grenade me. Didn't go so well. Because uh, it's like, there's no way that they would introduce all these stealth mechanics, including, you know, like, if you manage it stealthily, then you don't have to fight as many. I mean, if they're going to do that, surely they're going to make the sections where, you know, it's possible to stealth, possible to stealth, right? No. I mean, there are quite a few sections where it's not at all possible to stealth. And then there's quite a few unfortunately sections like that where it's possible to stealth like one or two guys and then you're fucked uh also video game logic if there's something red odds are it blows up all right so uh what chloe did right is she went through and she planted a bunch of bombs all over the place just like the one where we picked up our detonator now our detonator was really far back there right like the, and there was nothing around it uh, so there's like zero point in blowing up where she put it. 
Uh, but this is one of the things where knowledge of the game comes in handy. You have to kill everybody before you can arm them. Uh, and knowing where they are, obviously, on a speed run will help you greatly. So, like, the first time I played this, it took me forever to find the last one. Like, I ran around, I found those those three perfectly fine. But the last one is down over here. Uh, now, you can see them beforehand. They are, I think they just have a red light on them. Uh, and you can't do anything with them. Uh, but I missed it. Like, I didn't see it. And then it took me fucking forever to find it after that. Like, an insane amount of time. But yeah. Like I said, this game is significantly harder, though. I mean, the stealth mechanics are nice. And it's a lot of potential. Hopefully they improve upon it for number three. I mean, the stealth mechanics in four seem pretty standard. Must have been some uh, to and that doesn't necessarily so mean far, good, but it means standard, which means it makes sense because so yeah, many people have done it that way now. Again. You know, uh, may as well, right? Always breaking down. Oh, wait, let's just not even picked so up. We can get out of here. Look, all that well, out. Not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Oh! oh no! So this guy here, right? You don't want to fight him. Oh fuck! That didn't work. Uh, most of the time when you uh, first drop down here with those guys, those two don't quite turn around in time. And you can quickly get in, because uh, they still have the mechanic where if you're behind somebody, you insta-kill them, even if you're not in stealth mode. Uh, they also have a mechanic where if you're moving fast enough and they're stunned, well, not if you're moving, but if they're stunned, you can one-shot them. So there's multiple ways to do it. Obviously, like, if you've shot them, like, there's an achievement tied to it uh, and whatnot where it's like, kill a person in one punch after weakening them with bullets. Now, it sounds harder than it is uh, because uh, the one achievement, I think, is to do it in a row. Uh, but if you get, like, the weakest gun and you get close to them and just pop them once, it won't kill them, but it will stun them and let you insta-kill them. So I'm going to end it here because... The dig isn't really, like, I could probably do the dig in the amount of time that we have left. But it's just that it leads directly into the next mission. Like, it's like a very smooth transition. Like, the I think mission six or five starts where mission four ends. So we will end it here for now. We are in Borneo. Enjoying the sun and the surf with Sully here. Look at that waterfall. It's beautiful. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you next week.